Hey there everyone, it's Chris Mack, and today I'm going to be doing something different. I'm going to be building my very first AR. I'll be using the videos from Matt over at Kentucky Range Time to build this video, and I'm going to be linking those down here in the description so that way you have those. Mainly though, being that this is my first build, I got some of the gimmicky and not so gimmicky products uh, for building this, and I'm going to do a review of those. And uh, those are going to be the AR-15 Pivot Pin Tool from Real Avid. We're going to see how that goes. The Castle Knot Wrench from Cross Armory. I heard a Castle Knot Wrench is like the main tool that you really can't skip on. You kind of need one of these. Otherwise, the majority of the stuff you have around the house, you should be able to do it with. And then last but not least, um, Grip Gunsmithing Roll Pin Toolkit. Um, it's a whole kit for 30 bucks, and the main reason why I bought this is because I'm going to admit I'm a little bit freaked out about snapping off the um, trigger guard uh, pin area. And this whole kit um, include part of this kit includes a, a little push. Now, Wheeler sells just this little push for the uh, pin for the same price I got the whole kit for. Hence why I'm gonna go ahead and give this a shot. <laughs> All right, so uh, we'll, I'm, like I said, I'm not gonna film the whole thing. I'll just film whenever I'm using these particular items and uh, we'll see how it goes from there. Okay, the first thing we're gonna try out is this pivot pin tool. And all you do is you line this up in here. This only goes in one way. And then once you do that, you take your spring, you drop that down in, along with your pin, and you use this plunger to push it in place. And then you flip the flag like that. You can take this pin out. You take your pivot pin and you insert that in its place over here. And you release this and all went well. Your pivot pin is in. That's pretty easy. First time, live action. <laughs> okay, the next part is the trigger guard pin. And I got this piece here that we're going to use to clamp that down in there. It comes with these two pins inside that store right down in here. We're going to start off with the short one. And to prevent me from scratching up on the other side, I'm going to put a little bit of painter's tape over here. Okay, so it seems the best way is to actually get this to lay down like this, and then you can st start twisting now that you have it going in. And this actually seems to be going very nice. Just to make sure it's like countersunk in there just a smidge. Take this loose. All right. So that actually didn't go half bad. There is a little bit of a learning curve to it though. Uh, definitely straight up and down is the way you wanna do that. And I only needed the short pin. I did not need this long one, but taking that out, setting it flush and um, aligning it and going down was the best way to do that. Okay, last but not least, Castle Nut Wrench. And what I like about this one whenever I was looking at everything is the fact that it's got more teeth than the others. It actually has three teeth. A lot of the other ones I was looking at um, only had 
maybe one tooth, some of them two, but the fact that this has three means it's going to get a really good grip on. So you can see here where one, two, three, all three teeth are grabbing a hold here and getting really snug down on there. <clears throat> and we're good. All right, so uh, it's done. <laughs> Um, not as hard as I had thought. I was definitely more worried from the start. Uh, but now that I've done it, I feel like I could definitely do it again. It was a lot of fun. Uh, thank you, Matt, so very much for your, uh, tutorial videos. Those are, uh, were awesome. Very well done. And, uh, thank you. On to the stuff that I used. Let's start off with this, uh, wrench. This, uh, Castle Knot Wrench from Cross. I really liked it. I liked the fact that there was multiple teeth to grab a hold of. I didn't feel like I was slipping or anything like that. I did do some stuff off camera, but I did do some demonstration uh, with so that way you could see. This definitely, I really liked it. As for the pivot pin tool, this little guy right here, I have mixed emotions on it. Watching Matt's video, I don't feel like you need this to put in the pivot pin however if you are going to be doing multiple multiple builds um, in other words if you think you're going to build um, one or two i wouldn't worry about getting this if you think that you're probably going to build one and get addicted because i totally am i think if you're going to be doing three plus builds then yeah the 10 bucks on this little guy totally worth it if you're going to be doing multiple builds just one i probably wouldn't waste my money on it but it again 10 bucks wasn't bad now on to this hammer set uh, and punch set first off this um trigger guard uh roller here a few things on this it worked i liked it a lot i actually think it did well it was a learning curve because i'd never done it before so the main thing is that i had to have the lower receiver laying flat i had to have this in place and i took a pair of needle nose pliers and making sure that this was threaded all the way out is i had to make sure that my receiver was laying flat this was actually resting on the table itself the receiver was here, and then I had to take needle nose pliers and put the pin up in um, before actually sliding it over because without the pin being recessed, it would not go over the other ear. But once I got it lined up, that was smooth. That was really nice. I didn't feel like I was going to break anything. It just nicely uh, 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 down in it went, and it uh, huge fan of this. Loved this. Um, now again, uh, Wheeler makes one of these, but for the price of wheelers of this, you, if you buy this kit, you get all the punches and hammer and stuff, uh, here, let me see, all the punches, the hammer and everything like that, and this. So I would probably go this route. The only other thing though, is that you can really scratch up with this. So what I did is I put some, uh, painter's tape on that other ear, but this totally worth it. As for the kit overall the punches and everything were nice however whenever it comes to the bolt catch pin punch and starter just be really careful because of these two one has a um get some focus here one has a, a nipple on it and the other actually has some recess here i i'm not sure if these were in the wrong position in here or anything like that however long story short whenever i was doing these when I went to put the pin into the receiver, I somehow, instead of the pin going into the receiver when I was hammering, it went into the hole of the punch. And I ended up having to take this out with the pin still in it. It took me a while to get the pin back out and had to start all over. So long story short, I kind of used the one here with the, the nipple on it the entire time. Overall, these were really nice though because they are rubberized, so you're not gonna scratch up your receiver, and um, the, it, it actually extend out far enough that you were able to hammer into it that this little recess here hung over the other end. In addition to uh, Matt's video series, uh, before that came out, I had been uh, planning and was watching some other stuff. So I did watch Midway USA did a uh, lower receiver build. So a few things that I did in addition to is I put a little bit of uh, grease onto the buffer spring, 
per their recommendation. And then also even in Matt's video where he said, if you plan on taking this, if you don't plan on taking this apart, you wanna stake um, your castle nut. And um, if you plan on taking it apart, then don't do that. I'm not sure. So what I did is I used a little bit of uh, Loctite. I forget the number. I'll have it linked down below in the description, but it's one where you can take it apart, but you really, you're gonna have to twerk on it to get it loose. But anyhow, I did put a little bit of Loctite on um, the castle nut in here. Everything else was direct from PSA in the kit. I've added nothing to this. So yeah, I think it went well. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, it's Chris Mack.